Hello, Father Rayapa here. I belong to the Diocese of Vello. I am a Catholic priest. Today I'm going to talk on race, the human race I'm talking about. The first place we should remember we are all one single species known as Homo sapiens. And every one of us evolved from Africa. Our ancestors lived in Africa, East Africa. So all human beings on earth, they trace their origin back to Africa. Today all anthropologists, science, they agree that all human beings evolved from Africa. So there are more than 200 countries in the world and there are 7 billion human beings living on this fragile planet. And people are different looking and every one of us is unique. It is known as the genetic variation or biological diversity. We are humans at the same time, every one of us is different. And today scientists identify five races, five races. They are divided according to their DNA and color and features. So five races, I'm going to uh, explain them to you. The first one is Caucasians. Caucasians today, Europeans and Americans, and even Indians, we are also classified in Caucasians. White people also have the similar nose like us, eyes, mouth, structure. So even though they are uh, fair looking, we are having little dark color, it doesn't matter, but the outer features are very, very similar. So we are classified under Caucasians. The second one comes Negroids, uh, that is the African people, the blacks. Uh, their features are different, thick noses and thick lips and shorter eyebrow and dark color, curly hair. So they are known as Negroids. Negroids exist only in Africa, the whole African continent. Um, this beautiful people are living. Ultimately, we all evolved from Negroids and uh, they are our ancestors. And the third race is Amerindians. Amerindians. Amerindians means American Indians. Um, long hair, broad face, and uh, sharp nose, uh, big build. So they have uh, uh, exclusive uh, outer structure, very, very robust structure they have, long hair. So they exist only in American continent, especially in North America and South America full of them. Some 10,000 years back they migrated from Africa all the way to America and uh, again our ancestor is only African known as Homo erectus. Some 1.5 million years back Homo erectus migrated from Africa to populate the whole planet Earth. So every race uh, um, having the people, uh, having the direct lineage to Homo erectus. And the fourth category is uh, Polynesians. Polynesians. So these people we can find in uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand, Papua New Guinea and Polynesian Islands, Easter Island. They are huge giant uh, features they have. 
they are six feet and um, four or five inches tall some people even seven feet they are like giants and even today in New Zealand we find them they are known as the Maori people, Maoris huge, they are tall, big build pollinations are tough more robust than our Indians and um, in Easter Island they populated um, some uh, 1800 years back and uh, they built a marvelous uh, civilization in Easter Island. Even today if you go to Easter Island you can see the achievements of those Polynesian uh, people. And the last, the fifth tribe is Mongols. Mongols. Mongols are people those who live in China, Far East Asia and uh, all the Asians are known as the Mon uh, Mongols. Uh, they have got shorter noses, smaller lips, smaller uh, brow and uh, small structure. So these are known as the Mongols. So, so remember there are five races according to science. The first is Caucasians, the second is Negroids, the third is Paul, uh, Amerindians, the fourth is Polynesians, the last one is Mongols. So every single human being has evolved from Homo erectus. We go way back to 1.5 million years the Homo erectus migrated from Africa. Before him there were different kinds of species like Homo habilis and um, uh, Paranthropus boisei and uh, Paranthropus africanus and uh, we go all the way back to 3.5 million years to learn about Australopithecus afarensis. Australopithecus afarensis. That was the first species ever to walk on two foot. 3.5 million years back the hominoid just stood up and began to walk on two legs. From that point onwards nobody could stop these beautiful humans and they are populating the whole earth. So race is divided on, on the biological uh, variation. You go deep inside the genes and you find out this diversity. So this is the way nature expresses beauty to planet earth. So sometimes we really uh, misunderstand this genetic variation and then we call it a caste and uh, we do treat people very badly. So uh, by learning the information uh, given by science, we can reduce the discriminatory aspects in our own human life. And we should realize that we are all one single species known as Homo sapiens. There is no caste. There is no bigger caste. There is no lower caste. That classification is a history. This classification was made in a time when there was no scientific knowledge. But today we have come a long way. Human genome project, human genome research has really unraveled the mystery of our human origin. So I think people need to learn and study and uh, come to the knowledge that we are all one single species and we belong to one family. Ultimately, we are all brothers and sisters. Thank you.